Hey everyone, this is Steven here, back at it again with another video. In today's video, I plan on looking at Wander Franco and trying to determine whether his cards are a good buy right now. And then I'm also going to pick winners for my 600 subscriber giveaway. But before we get into that, if you enjoy this type of content and would like to see more in the future, please feel free to hit the like button and also subscribe. So now that we got that out of the way, we can get into the actual video. There's going to be two parts of this video. The first part is going to be looking at Wander Franco, looking at some of his stats, and then diving into whether I personally think he's a good buy or a sell. But the main intent is not to try to tell you guys or gals which cards to be buying and selling. I'm just trying to give my perspective on this particular player since it is a pretty hot topic as of right now. And then the second part of this video is I will be picking the winners for my 600 subscriber giveaway. So stay tuned until the end of the video to check out who won those. So now we'll get started here with a quick bio. So Wanda Franco is currently a 20 year old. He was the number one prospect. He's a shortstop. He recently got called up to the Tampa Bay Rays earlier this week, and he is the hottest thing in baseball right now. We can look at some of his minor league stats. So he had three years in the minors where he batted 351 and then 327 and then also 315 his this year before he got called up. So pretty solid numbers. And according to MLB.com, he is currently the number one prospect in all of MLB. So very well known and highly touted prospect as of right now. Again, he is currently the number one prospect according to MLB.com and a lot of other sites. So he did get called up earlier this week and in his first game he ended up hitting a home run and also a double so a great first game and his cards let's check how they've done so for this i am using market movers i am not affiliated with them at all it's just what i like to use to track some of these cards and for this we're just going to be focused on his 2019 bowman chrome prospects card and his paper prospects card so these are his first bowman cards as you can see the first bowman logos up there and we're going to be excluding any panini rookie cards for this we're just going to be looking at the bowman rookie cards as of right now and as you can see there's a lot of hype around here and this was at the beginning of 2021 uh the beginning of the baseball season and then ever since then they've been trending straight down and then as you can see here they they bottomed here and then when he got called up and he ended up hitting that home run his cards have spiked so if you look at the last seven days here so over the last week since he's been called up his cards have been up his chrome prospects is up about 55 percent and his paper prospects in a psa 10 is up about 73 percent so we've seen some pretty big gains over the last week for wander franco so his cards have been going nuts so now that we've seen how significant his price movement has been over the past week or so i'm going to give my perspectives on this and whether i think his cards are currently a buy sell or hold and for me i am absolutely not buying at these prices i would honestly be selling if i had these cards they've gone up too much too fast and i'm going to highlight a couple reasons for why i personally and again this is just my own opinion would be selling these cards the first one is that he only has this one bowman first bowman rookie card once he gets in the tops update or other flagship rookie card within tops usually these bowman first bowmans fizzle out so this is his only rookie but once the new products start coming out with him in there as a rookie then those are going to be the next hot commodity and people are going to be chasing those and these cards typically start dying down and then another reason is this card has simply just gone up too far too fast and we've seen this with a lot of players and i'm going to point them out here i'm going to start with jared kelenic and he is the number four prospect according to mlb.com on the mariners and he recently got called up and let's check out how his charts did and again, I'm not saying Jared Kelnick is better or worse than Wanda Franco. I, I do think that Franco is a much better player. But again, Kelnick is the number four prospect as of right now. So he's still a pretty good player. Not on Franco's level, but he's still up there. And his cards, as you can see, they were kind of bottoming out here. And then once he got called up, you can see the huge spike here. And then on the second game, similar to Franco, he ended up hitting a home run. And that's when the hype really started. It was between him getting called up and then hitting the home run. And then as you can see here, his card, cards shot up, as you can see right now. And then he had a, he went into a really bad slump over, you know, the two or three weeks he was in the pros. And then as you can see, his cards have just gone down significantly ever since then. And he recently got moved back down to the minors. So his cards are pretty much tanking. So that's one case. And again, I'm not saying that Franco is going to bust as hard as Kelnick did. I'm just saying there's a lot of hype that's currently built around Wander Franco that it's extremely hard for him to live up to the, the hype that's built into those prices. 
And then the second player we can look at is a fan favorite, but Ronald Acuna Jr. And he started off the season just crushing the ball. He was batting like 400, a ton of home runs. And he was came off really firing on all cylinders. You can see his card prices spiked towards the beginning of the season. And then he you know, had that amazing run towards the beginning of the season. And he's still playing okay. He's doing fine. He's just not not hitting as well as he started off the season. He's just slowing down a little bit. And ever since then, his cards are just trending straight down. So again, this is because of the fact that there's a lot of hype that is built into the cards. Just by him playing above average wasn't good enough to keep the card prices as high as it currently was because of all the hype that was built into it. So if we go back to Wander Franco here, again, his cards are up close to 100% for his, his paper and then about 55% for his Chrome. And he did have one good game, however, in order for him to sustain these prices, he has to continue at this pace, which I don't think is sustainable, but that's up for you guys and gals to determine. But again, his Chrome PSA 10 is currently at $330. My anticipation and guess is once this hype kind of dies down a little bit, these card prices are going to start trending down. You know, every game he's not going to be hitting home runs. I do think he's going to struggle a little bit. So I do anticipate these cards to start coming down a little bit, depending on how he plays. And I just think that there's too much hype built into these cards. But if we look at this, for $335, you can get a Bowman Chrome Prospects PSA 10 for Wando Franco. So I just want to go over some cards that we could be looking at or some comparables, and we can compare which one's a better buy. So for $330, Wando Franco, we can also be comparing that to a Fernando Tatis, who is currently on track to be the face of the MLB, the way he's playing right now. He's a great player, a lot of swagger to him, and he's just a very well-liked player. But his... 2019 Topps Chrome base in a PSA 10 is $260, and that has a lower population. So that has a population of 8,000 compared to this Wander Franco Chrome of 9,300. So this Tatis has a lower population than that Wander Franco. And then it's up for you to decide who do you think is a better player. I'm personally going to go with Tatis. He's more established. So I just think that Tatis right now looks a lot cheaper than Wander Franco. But we can keep moving on. And we can look at Ronald Acuna Jr., who again is an up-and-coming star. He's a pretty established player at this point. He has three or four pretty solid years under his belt. So his first Bowman card in a Chrome is $330. So the same price as a Wander Franco. And that has a significantly lower population at 6000 So me personally, if I wanted to spend $330 between Wander Franco and Acuna, I would go with Acuna every day out of the week. And then you could also get his Topps Chrome PSA 10 for 188 bucks. So you could still save $120 there by going with the standard Topps Chrome and a PSA 10, which again, it still has a lower population than Wander Franco. But we can keep going and let's see what other alternatives are out there. Juan Soto, another young up and coming star. He is a beast behind the plate. He is struggling a little bit this year, but he does have a World Series under his belt. And you can get his Topps Chrome update for $241. So about $100 cheaper than Wander Franco's one Bowman rookie card. And we'll keep moving on here. Arguably the greatest player of this generation, Mike Trout. You can get his Topps finest rookie card. And again, this is a pretty cool looking card with the rookie card logo there. This is the top, so it's not an off-brand or anything like that. It's just top's finest. You can get this raw for $260. So this is much cheaper than Wanda Franco. I personally would go with Mike Trout. And then the last player we can look at is Mookie Betts, and this is his PSA 10. And this population is 3,000, so this is significantly less than Wanda Franco's Bowman, first Bowman. And this one is currently selling for, there's one for $325 right there. So this is the same price as the Wander Franco first Bowman rookie card and the population report is much lower on this Mookie Betts than it is for Wander Franco. And again, I'm not trying to put Wander down. I think he's a great prospect, but how much would he have to accomplish to get on Mookie Betts' level? And is he going to live up to all this hype? That is the question that we need to be asking ourselves. For me personally, I like to choose the more established players that have already been in the league and proven that they are able to perform day in and day out so that's why i personally would be sticking with you know these these more established mlb players and i also do think that wander franco's cards will be dipping down here over the next couple months or so and then especially once the new tops 
flagship, whether it's Tops update, if he's in there, I do think that that's going to drive down his first Bowman. So I do think that there's going to be opportunity in the future to pick up these first Bowman rookie cards for a lot cheaper than they currently are. But again, these are just all my opinions. I'm not trying to tell you to go and buy them or go and sell them if you absolutely love Wander Franco, please, by all means, go and buy his cards right now. But I personally just do not think that right now is the best time to be picking up his card. Let me know down in the comments what you guys and gals think. So now that we got this part of the video over, we can switch over to picking the winner for my 600 subscriber giveaway. Stay tuned for that. So the first part of the video went a lot longer than I anticipated, so I do apologize in advance for that. Um, so I'm going to try to breeze through the second half of the video, which is picking the giveaway winners. So I'm going to try to move a little faster on this so you guys and gals can get out of here a little quicker. Again, I apologize for taking up all your time. So this is the video that had my giveaway. So the choices are the first place winner either gets the Anthony Edwards rookie card or the Joey Burrow and Jordan Love score rookie cards. So they get to choose between the football cards or the Anthony Edwards rookie card. And then the second place winner would get whichever card the first place winner doesn't want. So I'm going to copy the link here and I'm going to move over to this comment picker here and again thanks everyone for all the support I really appreciate it it's been really nice getting to know each and every one of you and I look forward to continuing these relationships in the future but with that being said we can filter out duplicate users and then get the YouTube comments and 45 unique comments so that's amazing again thanks for all the support and then we just click the start button so good luck to everyone and thanks again for the support but it looks like the first place winner is Celtic Pride, one, two, three, four, five. Nice, so he is a great channel, very supportive guy. Please feel free to go check him out. I'll be reaching out to him and congrats on the win there. And then the second place winner is going to be Adam's Car Closet. Nice, another great channel. Please go check out Adam. He has a lot of cool videos over there and very supportive guy. So Adam, I'll be reaching out to you and congrats to both on the win. And again, I just want to thank each and every one of you for all the support. I really appreciate it. But with that being said, thanks for stopping by and have a good rest of your day and a nice weekend. Bye.